What up, XD Gamers? We are back with Mafia 3 yet again. I had to give you guys the stones on turn DLC. It was great. It wasn't as good as uh, Faster Baby, but it was still enjoyable nevertheless. So I decided to bring it back for y'all. So we're going to do it right now, straight through. Don't forget to smash that like button. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, MVP XD Gaming. Let's get it, man. Stones on turn DLC. You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French Ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. Wow, this is a hell of a car. How did you get your hands on it? Who's a gift? A friend of mine. A car like this? That's a hell of a friend. This friend would be is it someone I know? No. Ex company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of falling out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of it. Something had to go down. Look. All you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Villa Del Mar. Here's your guy, man. Come on. I ain't got all day. Where the fuck is Marshall? <laughs> Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. <laughs> Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Ooh. Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry nice bands, man. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark skinned compadre. Let's go. <laughs> dark skinned compadre? Alright, first signs. Uh, it's the middle of the day and this place is like empty. And there's a hatchet blocking the door. Looks like someone was intent on keeping both I wonder what's inside. behind this door. Let's get in there. <gasps> God damn it. A bunch of dead bodies. That Hello. was surprising. Anyone here? Oh, look at this guy. Ugh. What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? I don't want to know what they were doing the way we do. when this happened. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. Why I had to get away from him and that life. Are you sure about Marshall? <laughs> oh, he put the staff on the firing squad, bro. Tilted. Damn. Now he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, Brian. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains and his frijoles. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. A little off. <laughs> All right, Donovan. All right, man. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. Ear to ear. Shit. Really? <laughs> what? It's an Upman. Yeah, that, Balmana yeah, that was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. 
Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? No. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Bad luck. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. All right, so let's just slow him down from jump. We got some questions for you. So get your ass out of there. What you running for? This was a learning experience for you. Come be my friend. Hey, son. That is our house. Our son. Come here. Oh, oh, Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Point. Come on, I got someone who wants to talk to you. <laughs> My dude was like, it's damn good, bro. Have you seen you? Is well, that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. We're moving up in the world. <clears throat> Nothing. Who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? But why would you... You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So, the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again, so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And that was oh! it! He, he, he told another man he used with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. Oh, my mother! <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Oh, Can you keep shit. our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. No. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Sniper support is Stand up. the business, bro. We can't just sit here. We need to get our asses to the safe house. Uh, the Pedro duh. Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. I can't believe the game made me drive this hoopty shit, bro. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich had some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF Italian saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. 
Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Where are you going? To Pedro Pong. That's where. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn front. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right, bro. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. Where is it going? All right, Donovan, we got here too late, man. Come on. It's not a surprise we got here too late. <laughs> what happened to this guy? All right, let's see what's going on outside here. You see what I did to your friend here? He cares. And don't you want to be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are going to rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. We're going to kill every last agent who do something. Let's go, That is my favorite brutal thing. Oh man. Aldridge wants this area locked up. Looks like the last. Take it, go there! That cherry bomb was the business. You're not with me. Motherfuckers over here. That was uh, Here go. Thorough. This is the last moment of the pleasure of my life.
Where is he going? Oh, he got a knife on him. Donovan, you need the gym, bro. I'm telling you why the CIA needs a compound like this if you go up. Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. Snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck. Get out of here! Where's the fucking safe? There is! There's no safe! No. No. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Welcome to the show, Johnny. Yes! You're the only last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking all right, head off. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Atta boy. <laughs> Yeah, he killed pretty much everybody else. How's the hand? How's the face? <laughs> Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. <laughs> oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Her <laughs> colorful foot. Just take what you want and go. <laughs> Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. Oh, just get up. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. That was a dickhead move. Find the key card. Donovan, you all right, bro? You don't look so good, man. Looks like you got sh shot in your ear. <laughs> God damn it. What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident to Vodka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. The storm took the plane <laughs> down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dabochka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. 
Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldrich gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldrich took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. Go, Donovan. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we'd better get to Paez before Aldridge does. <laughs> Donovan's was like, yo, let's go, let's go, you're right. This man, Carl right, Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways. We ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Bullshit. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldrich in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about it. I need to call this into Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Wyatt. Okay, Donovan. Get out of here. And I think that's it. We need to get the Paez, man. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldridge's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. All right. We'll get there right quick. Right I was acting an old money shop like West Rose and they employing a few the next hour working for the CIA. Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. You are a criminal, Lincoln. Come on, Clay. Come on, my grandmother can drive faster than this. Really, bro? Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. <laughs> There's West Rose. Sign of Aldridge's murder. This hour... Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? <laughs> Paez, where is he? Look, where is he? Last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Paez? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? What? Motherfuckers, we're trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, got him. I like to save you. Headshot. Alright, for the big boy. 
Who is there? Who is next? that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, brother. Everybody's downstairs. What do we do? Shit. Found him! Come help me! Oh, these dudes have lights on their guns, man. Can't see shit. I don't need to see shit. Just the skill. Just the skill right now. Cover, 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 cover. Oh, Return to Pius, damn. He got shot. Man. I'm coming for you. Right, come. Go, 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 get him, go, get him, go, get him. You all right, bro? It don't look so good. You don't look so good. You all right? <laughs> the dude looks like Meek Mill. Meek Mill, what you doing here, boy? Oh, I got shot. Show me your face for one second. Sneaking on around here. Are we defending Paez? Is he dead? Oh. Let's go downstairs. Is anyone down here? Of course, there are guys down here. I'm not gonna let one. Yeah. Alright, these lights are beginning to piss the shit out of me. Take that. Burn, baby, burn. How are you still alive, my guy? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to start over. You don't want to start over. Don't want to start over. Yeah. Go, God. You let us handle the shooting from here on out. Look at it. Hey, boy, you don't look so good, boy. Boy, you look you're, like you're about to pass out, boy. You better hope these guys ain't outside. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Ooh. Ooh. You're riding shots. Lincoln. I'm on. Red Duh. Red. Yeah, I know this DLC was good, man. It was good, honestly. Donovan, we got caught. I see that. Oh, not bad. Oh. Don't stop it till all the murders are dealt with. Don't stop it. I like how this gun has infinite bullets, man. Infinite. Be fun, fellas. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. Oh, 
Sorry guys, I didn't mean to crash y'all party and stuff. Twice. Oh, yeah, I don't suppose either of you is a doctor. Yo, Pai, shut your bitch ass up, boy. <laughs> I don't suppose you need to be a doctor. Right. Come on, man. Man up, man. Fire is looking worse. Deal with those works so we can get him to mark. Oh, he tried to avoid that car and flip this right. shit. Uh, the store's gonna make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Coño. Get those fuckers off our asses, Lincoln. Yourself. Here we go. Oh, shit. I see that garbage truck was. Oh, it's supposed to be there. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Oh, the garbage truck is my savior. That's the last of them. Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold yeah, doing too good. We'll get you patched up. Maya's not doing so good. Get him some milk. He needs some milk. We need to get him inside. Uh, Hold on, buddy. Uh, uh, we brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldrin's man clipped him. Oh god, I don't want to die. You're not gonna die. Uh, Tell me I your don't name. Die. Oh, Ruben. Ruben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield ah, Oh, shit. You know what that means? No. It means you're gonna be just fine. Uh, Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Ah, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you're playing. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Uh, last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, degree longitude. I'd never Where the fuck that were shit. you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy. Crucial told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles. So we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I cago en tu madre. Huh? Hey. Sure. Look, what? I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey! Oh, hit bastard. The Fox car completed. Meet Donovan. Let's just stock up before we get out of here. Should be alright. Should be alright. So we're actually gonna leave New Bordeaux, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Going to an undisclosed location. Boat fuel, our course charted. Ready when you are, Captain. Yeah, right look there. at Donovan. Let's go get that motherfucker. You are now leaving New Bordeaux. You will not return until you and Donovan have dealt with Connor Aldridge and the nuke. Are you ready? There it goes. There it goes. And I got some new threads. Better still be there. He some will new be. Gear. Has to be. All right, man. Enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldridge. 
1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. There we go. There we go. On day, John. Chongqing Shack. <laughs> Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? U.S. government executes traitors. You know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you. But I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Donovan. Should know better. Get him, Donovan. Get him, Donovan. Get him. Get his ass. Things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those salt recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Tron told me? Right now, every morn in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Ah, that's funny. That's real funny. <laughs> oh, got him, though. Got him, got him. Got him, though. Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. Lucky mother. An Aldridge escape. Mother. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Nah, Donald, it looks like you basically as lucky as Lincoln to be alive, bro. Come on. Let's go find that goddamn pissy. Dude, how you dead to rex? Right. Let's find that pissing it. Piss out. In country. Oh, we got some new stuff. What is this? Oh, they left me some stuff. I don't need it. Okay, it's so like a little tote bag down there. It's probably dropped. Nah, man, I'm Let's not like a, the high ground, a billionaire the right now. Got intel on the place. Used to have a decent fishing industry. That died off a while ago. Residents be located in the rain. I would think they have never seen it. Get to high ground. We are low ground. It's so nice to leave New Bordeaux, bro. I mean, it's a little vacation. There was a whole squad of motherfuckers swooping in right by me. Yeah. It was two guys. You're telling me two guys? You know, that many of our men. <laughs> I was telling you, it was two guys who took out that many of our guys. And it was those same two men who are likely heading here. Damn it, man. This is so cool of all new energy. It's a gift. <laughs> Be right here, too. Makes no difference to me. Just pick one and I'll take his down. Alright, so. Okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Boy, you were so right. Oh, he's right there. Go get him, Donovan. Let's see you in action. Go, Donnie, go. Oh, he's gonna shoot him in his head. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh man, he busted your shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're going to this way. Through the waterfall, sitting low. Hey, boy, it's no type of swing. Get out of there. Feast your 
lies in the town of Mimosa Pez, or what his name's in. Looks like all the people set up camp by that old church. Someone must be in charge of that man. Let's see what we can get out of it. Interrogate the Merc Commander. Who is he? Looks like they got some high power weaponry over there. Damn. One asshole manning it. Are not to piss him off? Nah, I'm just gonna go give him a hug. He's all the way over there. Maybe I should have brought my son as pistol. Maybe I should have. Roger. Roger. Uh, see one guy there, two guys down there. Water splash? Come on, guys. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Too late. Right, let's go. Let's go, Donate. What are you doing, man? Silence pistol, what was he thinking? See this intel. Where is getting around that Mark is helping out this asshole coming out all this? So yeah, you should have put an effort down instead of instead let him walk. Oh want to close his job out and say we come back level of the world. On that effing snitch. His English is terrible. See how quick he turned that gun on me. Wow. Oh, Push oh, into something loud. Damn it! I almost died. Of you. Grab one of those 
now. Head, two, maybe three clicks. Nasty murk motherfuckers. Kill him. And on his face, I do that. Brutal shit. Brutal. Big money. So good, man. Come on, man. I'm in way better shape than you. She grabbed some wheels. Okay. Anyway. Last month. And you're gonna drive to the clearing. Let me get the drive. Let's go, John of Old. Donovan. Call him Jonathan. Oh, this vacation is so cool. Away from New Bordeaux. So what happens if Aldrich gets out wild with his nuke? According to the Mad Doctrine, the only thing keeping us from full-scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad, it's our fail suit. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. What you're saying is you have no idea. <laughs> Not a goddamn clue. Not a goddamn clue, bro. The dream work. Time for cuddling late. <laughs> I don't want to cuddle with your ugly ass. Besides, you ain't got no food. Let's go. I knew I was supposed to go through this private style. Get to the plane, get to the plane, sis. I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of that God damn. You hear that plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. <laughs> yeah, but this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying that. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dead asshole, come Oops. Man. He's not making it off the island. Donovan Savage, boy. We're going back up this way. Ah. Well, all right. Next time I'll 
let him get the joke. Alright. Search will crush it if I can. Brother, resist. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll cover you from here. Throw me a signal if you want me to open fire. Roger that. All right, throw you a signal. Let us go Murder and assholes for being assholes is what we do. Literally. Christ. Get Marshall though. Fire free. Got him. Now let's hit these cocksuckers with all we got. I'm gone. Not camped by the ass tank. I don't even get off my dick, man. I can take care of myself. What? Aldridge doing? 
Oh, shit. Yo, Donovan is my guy, bro. Hard mode is easy. I gotta say that let's just go up here. Let's just go up here. Get on the turret. That's where I'm born on the turret. Body ass taking mad shots. What? Oh, I can't 
cannot die on this turn, all right? I cannot, I cannot. I will not. Nicely done there, Agent. Need to find a different route. Hang on. Oh, got his head. Uh, don't tell him that shit. Say, I uh, know. He can thank me later. We'll go the rest of the way on foot. Thank God. Missile silo and all right off our own coast. We need to get down. Hard to tell what we might run into, so stay close. So none of your spook pals knew about his day. No idea. Chatter about playing with the chair. But no confirmation that we never started well or got this far along. Hold up, listen. A lot faster if we could ditch the gear. Blow the sight. Negative. Old Ricky told me want to leave a bigger footprint than we already have. Roger that. We'll get it done. Over and out. That one's mine. Cover. Talkies probably. Okay, let's go through this last part. Thank the stars. Enter the bunker. Alright, damn this place is a shithole. Feels like I ought to get a tetanus shot once we out of here. <laughs> Alright, what how do we get in here? I must have gone into the elevator. Shit. Let's go straight down to a submarine bay. 
That must be how he's getting a nuke off the island. How do we get down? It's like the red service line on the ground. Red. Of course it's red. What do we do now? Can't exactly knock and ask him to give the nuke back. No. Be good. But I can hotwire those doors, probably get them open 30, 40 seconds time. All right. I'll cover you. Oh, over this shit. Christ, man, was that you? Uh. <laughs> I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably gonna be real popular. Anyway. Oh, shit. So those two guys got me. Don't put your head down. Don't do Ready that. Me, my friend, saw me? Oh, somebody's right there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, dude. No, this is not hard. I am playing a role of shit. This guy, man. <laughs> Is he serious? Man, that guy's probably you don't know the half of it. Dude is like he doesn't want to take it from the world. Just had to stop. I don't know. Like your ass, boy. Scatters are hitting me, I don't know how. Oh shit behind cover and shit hit me. I don't know how that happened. Oh shit, you were seriously? Really? How many was that for me? <laughs> Your son is going to pay my wall! Oh, oh yeah! Ah! 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 Ah!
Oh, what's hitting me? Jesus Christ. Come on, how is he living? Jesus, man. Come on, man. that on hard mode. Pretty sure. Let's go, Donald. One. This is this is the map that took the rush. This is the way we're supposed to go. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, hold, hold, hold. No, he's full of shit. Right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Now we're not. That's where we'll find out. Oh. Trouble up here! Come on! Fucking oh.
everything I'm doing here was in the motion five years ago when you fucked up my deal with Tron. <laughs> Where's that stronger man? I need it. I love how Donovan is uh, actually noticing my Google takedowns and commenting, man. I like that. Cognizance. Hard mode is a bit, a little bit. This gives you a little bit, of, bit of a little challenge. It's not really, it's still not too hard. Maybe go first. Still okay. 
I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, you should stop talking and start shooting. Got him now. Go ahead, finish. Finish this. <laughs> I'll be outside. <laughs> you're like you're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> 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 what the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States in wartime, no less. Give him his last smoke. NDA are no enemies of mine. <clears throat> Same with the VC. And that's why he decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them were scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. <laughs> I just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole. We got a deferment for heel spurs. So, <laughs> you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took all the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talked to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that. <sighs> And for what? God, I used to admire you. You still thought you represented everything great about this country. And you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. Just kill him, man. Just kill him. Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? Or is you done? I appear so. <sighs> Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. Connor Aldridge is no more. He's the dead dead. Doors. I got him. Let's go, buddy. Get in. Get in. Be in a nuke truck. The nuke truck. Be in a nuke truck. Be in a nuke truck. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, afraid you were gonna say that. You gonna say that, right? Yeah, you're afraid as shit, bro. Oh, I'm hey, we're ready. Not ready. Bring the bird around. Hand 
alive, man. Somebody do something, he said. Living, bro. Exactly. All right, Mr. Slick. You and your partner don't fuck around. That's right. And telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh. <laughs> who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> exactly. He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> Better, nigga. Oh, goddamn. I'm famished. But never mind. Hey, I'm we stop for some shrimp oh boys. Oh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? And who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> if the dress fits. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor. Yeah, no. Kill some dragoons. Ah, that was fun, man. Yeah, that was that's what Boss. you call a DLC. That's how a DLC is supposed to go. All right, I'm telling you, I got my jungle camo outfit on locked. What else we got? Party animal outfit. Uh, what else? We got the Griffin Borneo sport, whatever that is. That's it. We also got the sniper support. We also have to have, uh, what else do we have from this DLC? Sniper support, uh, can't remember. Anyway, guys, that'll do it. It's your boy, Bizza, Bizza, MVP, Gaming, and we out of here. That was the Mafia 3 Stones on Turn DLC. Pretty good DLC, it's exciting. Um, lots of fun, lots of firepower. Turn on hard mode. Hard mode was okay, it was all right. What is it, boy, MVP, Let's get it. We out of here, yeah, take it easy.